Hey guys, what's going on? It is Amy again with Bargain Mama and today's video is going to come out a little bit later again like yesterday. So today is Saturday and we are going to have a yard sale at my mother-in-law's. Um, I'm trying to see. My hat. Yeah, my hair comes off the top. Um, it's an emotional day for me. I have not been feeling good since my checkup on Wednesday. I'm trying to hold in all the emotions because you guys know us women, we will cry over anything. Like, the, you know, my boys will be like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, nothing. And they're like, but you're crying. And I'm like, I don't know why I'm crying. Like one little thing sets us off. So this morning I've already been crying and like, I'm not in like this horrible pain that I'm crying. I, so it's just, it's funny because I was like, I don't want to do the video because they'll be able to tell, but yeah, like you guys know us women and they didn't take my ovaries. So I'm not supposed to have hit, um, um, menopause, but I'm pretty close. I'm 40, 41, 41. I'm like, cause I'm 41. I'm going to be 42. Like you hit menopause sometime in there, but that's not why I, my emotions are always all over the place. Like I'll be great for months and all of a sudden I'll just break out crying and my kids are like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I don't know. And there are boys. So they're like, there has to be something wrong or you wouldn't be crying. And I'm like, there's not. And they're like, okay, well, we're going to go to our room. And I'm like, you don't care. And they're like, well, we tried to ask you what was wrong, mom. And, uh, you said nothing. And I'm like, but you don't want to, you don't want to sit and talk to me. They're like, not really not really like it's I always feel like with my boys when this moment comes it's always like the last like they, they try to hurry to be the first out of whatever room I'm in so that whoever is last is kind of stuck with me yeah so it cracks me up because it's like you can see like the look in their face like I have to get out I cannot be the last one left in this room with her because she's gonna trap me and I will trap them <laughs> but anyways um so yeah today is Saturday this will come up today I know they're coming out a little bit later but like I said I have just not been feeling good I called the doctor yesterday um I was supposed to go back and see her on January 11th she wants me to come back on Monday but we'll see like if I'm feeling better on Monday you guys I am the worst at going to the doctor all the time. Like my thing is, is if it's kind of, she's like, Oh, that's a little normal, but not. But if this continues, like that's definitely not normal. Um, so go ahead and come see me on Monday. No, no, no. I will come see you if it continues. I'm not going to just randomly come see you on Monday. Like you all know, like, first of all, it's a 45 minute drive because it's in my town, but I mean, we live on one side and she's all the way on the other. So you guys know, like a doctor's appointment, like that's a commitment. That is a commitment. When I lived in Sierra Vista, it wasn't as bad because Sierra Vista is a very small town. So it's like 10, 15 minutes to get somewhere. And so it was funny because, so my husband is from Tucson, which is huge to me, huge. Some people are like, oh, no way, but that's big to me. And I'm from Sierra Vista. So like we have like a dollar general or like um, a dollar tree or something on every corner. And it's like 10, 15 minutes to get anywhere in this town, anywhere in service to, um, maybe a little bit longer, but not much. Um, there's not a hundred million traffic lights and all that. So when I moved here, I was like, Oh, my husband would be like, okay, well let's go here. And I'm like, Oh, that, mm -mm. like, I was like, how long does it take to get there? He'd be like 30, 45 minutes. I'm like one way. Like for me, that's a trip. That is a commitment to go that far. Like, I'm like, that's one way. And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, mm, no, mm -mm, I can't do it. Like, it's so it's so funny because he's like, well, why don't you schedule a dentist appointment? I'm like, oh gosh. And he's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, that, I mean, people from a small town versus a big town, they don't understand the commitment you have to make for a 40, I mean, that's 45 minutes one way, 45 minutes home. That's an hour and a half. You're waiting at least an hour at the doctor's appointment. That's two hours and like two and a half to three hours of your day. That's a commitment. That's a commitment. In Sierra Vista, you're maybe an hour, hour and a half tops. Like that's it. Like, and you are on your way. Like you can make that appointment for 8 a.m. and be to work by like way before 10. No way, people. If I make an 8 a.m. appointment here, I'm lucky to be to work by like 11 a.m. I'm like, no, mm -mm, I'm not showing up to work at 11 a.m. Because like that doesn't make me get off till five. I, mm -mm, like it's crazy. Like, I mean, you guys know if you're from a small town versus a big town, like it is such a difference. Like, so finally we have a doctor's office, a primary care and um, a dentist's office that are 
way close, like Sierra Vista closer to my house in Tucson. And so I switched both of them over and my husband was like, didn't you like the other dentist? I said, that's, yeah, but it's too far, too far. And he, so my husband stayed with the other dentist because he's like, no, that's our dentist. And I'm like, not mine, mm -mm, not mine and the boys is like, I need something closer. Like, yeah, I mean, you guys know. Like I said, it is a special commitment. So anyway, she was like, so go ahead and come see me on Monday. No, ma'am. But again, that's a commitment. Like this whole not working. So you guys know I'm off actually it equaled seven weeks. I'm going to try to reschedule that appointment. She scheduled me for January 11th, which puts me one week longer than six weeks. And, um, yeah, I don't want to be out of work for seven weeks. Um, so I'm on two and a half. Oh, actually, I'm almost on three. So this coming, so today's Saturday. This coming Tuesday, we'll make it three weeks. Make it my halfway point of um, not being at work. Um, and I'm not sure. Like, so I'm sure my people, my friends on Facebook, are just like, okay, like, <laughs> because I post at least like five to ten pictures of my dogs a day on Facebook. Like, <laughs> they're like, okay, like one of my friends even um, that I. Cause, you know, I didn't go around being like, Hey guys, I'm having surgery. So, you know, I didn't go around telling everyone. So one of my friends texted and they're like, Hey, um, are you working anymore? Because like, there's literally, I don't have anyone to talk to. My kids are in school. My husband's at work and I'm sure my husband is more than willing to do overtime. And my boys are like, Oh no, we have, we have to stay after for a study session. My, my youngest is a senior in high school. I'm like, when have you ever stayed after for a study session? Starting two and a half weeks ago is when he started staying after for a study session. Because it's like I sit there and wait for them to come home. And then, like, I just think, I'm like, okay, so I thought of this, this, and this. And then my husband, like, I'll text him all the things I'm thinking at work. And, um, like, okay, so we can talk about it when I get home. And I'm like, oh, okay. Or, like, I'll send him picture after picture after picture of the dogs. And then I'm like, hello? And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm working, so I'll get back to you. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, you all. I was not meant to be a stay-at-home person. Like, and I know I can go places, but where do I want to go? Like, I don't want to go anywhere except for work. Like, I love my job. I love what I do. I don't like driving again into town. I don't like driving in general. Um... But I sure as heck don't want to drive. Again, it is a commitment. Like, when I go to the Dollar Tree and stuff, guys, for me, that's a commitment. Like, again, that's about, that's hours and hours out of your day. Ugh. It's such a commitment. Um, so, I would rather just stay home. But I'd rather go to work. So I'm at work. My mind is going. And I'm busy. And when I'm not at work and I'm home, my family is not a big fan. So, hold on one second. So it's even gone to the extent, my niece who's 12, um, I was texting her the other day and she said, Mamie, I said, yes. And she said, shouldn't you be at work? And I was like, oh, you too, you too. Like, <laughs> like my mom, my mom, she turns her phone off every night at 6 p.m. And she, her cell phone, um, she has this little flip phone that we made her get, um, for emergencies, but I don't, she turns it off at 6 p.m. and she turns it on at 6.30 a.m., like has the same routine. So 6.31, I'll call. And if she doesn't answer, I'll call and call and call. And she's like, she'll call me back and she's like, hey, uh, I slept in a little bit, but uh, I wasn't able to because um, you just kept calling. And I'm like, oh, I just wanted to talk to you. And she's like, oh, yep, mm -hmm, yeah, I know. Like, is it anything important? I'm like, nope, nothing important. Guys. My middle son, he's 21. He is <laughs> the funniest kid. Like, he will tell you what he's thinking and not try to hurt your feelings, but I don't want to say he doesn't care because he's a very, very caring kid, but he'll tell you what he's thinking. Like, he's like, well, that's, that's my opinion. And I don't know how to explain it because he definitely will tell you his opinion, but he's not like this mean person who just goes out to like hurt everyone. So <laughs> the other day I called him and, um, it was ringing or I was like, oh man, this kid's going to let his phone go to voicemail. And his voicemail is like, um, so, hey, yeah, my phone and I are playing hide and seek and it's winning at the moment. So, um, once I find it, I'll call you back. Like it's the funniest voicemail, but I was like, dang it, it's going to go to voicemail. And then all of a sudden, like you hear an answer, but then it takes a little while. It's like one of those things where, you know, someone is sleeping and they either accidentally answered their phone or they're trying to figure out like they're getting their bearings together before they say hi. So 
takes like a couple seconds. He says, hello. And I said, hey. And he said, the first thing he said, so funny thing. Um, I didn't mean to answer my phone. I meant to push in. I said, well, thank you for being honest. <laughs> like he, that's what he told me. I meant to push in. I was like, oh, okay. And he's like, cause I was sleeping and I'm like, oh, well, can I just tell you what I was going to tell you real quick? <laughs> He was like, sure, mom. Like, but it was so funny. Like, all he says is hello. I said hello. And he said, so funny thing. I meant to push in. And I was like, oh, I was like, thank you for being honest with me. Like, but that hurt my feelings. It was just so funny. So, yeah. Yeah, he, I meant to push in, mom. Like, I did not mean to answer this phone call. I'm like, okay. Like, everyone's getting tired of me. Um, so it was just, it was hilarious. But anyways, I am getting ready to get to my mother-in-law's. Um, we're going to have our yard sale. We're, I've been like, not splurging, um, purging and getting everything ready and get out of my house. And I mean, I got six weeks. I do not want to have any regrets after the six weeks. This, I do not think is the turn. Um, I don't ever drive anywhere and so my husband hates it because I won't pay attention and then I don't know how to I've been married to my husband for six years and I don't know how to get to my mother-in-law's I don't think this is it but anyways I should probably mm -mm, this definitely don't look familiar nope I'm in the wrong neighborhood <laughs> and then it's one of those things where I don't want to call my husband because he's gonna be like how many times have I told you how to get to my mom's house so anyways guys I will let you guys know how my yard sale went I have a Dollar Tree haul and um, a Dollar General haul this is not the way um, so I will get those up either today or tomorrow and then I have oh goodness um, and then I have my my Arizona snowman tutorial and then I'm going to make um, in oh that's a big old bump in Arizona um, an Arizona snow measure. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I'm bored. So anyways, guys, I need to figure out where I'm going and how to get to my mother-in-law. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Hey guys, I'm back. It's now nighttime. So we did really good at our yard sale. Um, it was a lot of fun. And um, so pretty much what you just saw is going to be my vlog for today. Uh, I will, it's been a little harder to, um, video every day, even though I'm not really working. So tomorrow I will definitely make sure that one of my hauls comes up and it's a little bit more exciting, but I hope that you guys have a great day and I'm going to upload this right now. Bye guys.